Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So this is the first video of something new that I'm adding to my channel. So every day, the last day of the month, I am going to do a bag a day crochet tutorial recap. I'm going to show you all the tutorials I did for that month. Because for some reason, I get asked all the time why I don't do tutorials anymore. And I just don't understand because I still do them the same amount of as I always have. I just, uh, I don't understand. So I'm thinking maybe YouTube's not notifying people. Or maybe it's because I've incorporated other content that people like. Such as yarn shopping and yarn hauls. Maybe it seems like I'm not doing them anymore. Because I have so much other content. But I thought the best way for everybody to see them was to, on the last day of the month look for my uh, tutorial recap well i will show you all the tutorials i did that prior the, the that month okay so this is for august i'm going to show you all the tutorials i did for the month of august and i'm going to put all the links below in the description box so you can find them in case you want to make them some of you may have seen all these and some of you i'm sure haven't even seen any of these because i'm sure you know you don't some people will just not getting notified or something. I don't know. But let's go over it. Okay, so tutorial 616 was the little dress, dress dish towel. Okay, and I have it right here. It is made to go over your stove like this, like over the handle. And then it ties here. It's made... I made it with 100% cotton from Hobby Lobby, but of course you don't have to use that brand. But I do recommend that if you're going to be using it as a dish, a dish rag or a dish towel, to use nothing less than 85% um, cotton. But if you're going to use it for uh, just decor only, acrylic would be fine too. So this was tutorial 616, the little dress dish towel. All right. Okay, next is tutorial number 617, and it's just a single crochet beanie, which you can make for a man or a woman. Okay, I have that right here. Now, this one was made with that new yarn from Premier called Bloom, which makes the decorative little flowers in it. You don't have to use that yarn. It's a lightweight three, so any lightweight three yarn will work. And since it's made with single crochet, it's tighter and it's it's warmer. And like I said, you can use it for a man or a woman. So this is tutorial 617, the single crochet beanie. Okay, the next one is tutorial 618, which is the Serenity Baby Sleep Sack. Okay, I have this right here. Now, it has a matching hat in the in the video. I tell you how to make the matching hat, but my daughter was playing and she switched hats. And I don't even know what she did with the matching one, but this is it. Turned out really cute. Now, this is made with Bernat uh, Velvet Baby. And then it's got these two-inch ribbon roses on it, which these... Um, I got these off eBay a long time ago. I don't know if you can find these exact ones, but you can check on there and find something similar. Also, you could use buttons or just leave it plain, whatever you want. It's tied up at the bottom, and it's a newborn size. It's super cute and super soft. You don't have to use the velvet. Any uh, bulky five will work. But that is the Serenity Sleep Sack. The next one is number 619. It's the Dandelion Dreams Baby Blanket. Okay, and I have this one right here. This one has become very popular at the moment. Um, I think it's all due to the color and the easiness of it, actually. Ain't that pretty? Look at that. Beautiful. Now, it's just an easy one row repeat. It's super easy to make. That yarn is from Hobium. Um, it's their Karatopu baby prints, I believe. Um, but in the video, it, it tells you what it was. I think that's what it is. Ain't that pretty, though? Dandelion Dreams. Number 619. I like it. Okay. 
The next one I did was the men's poncho called Hammer to Fall, which is a Freddie Mercury song, in, ca in case you wondered. Okay, so I got that right here. This is tutorial 620, the Hammer to Fall. It's, you don't, it doesn't have to be for a man. It can be for a man or a woman, actually. But it's real easy to make, too. It just uh, is two panels that are, that are uh, slip-stitched together right here. And it's square there at the bottom. I think I have it on backwards. I do. But really easy. Now, this was made with Red Heart uh, Ombre. Four, it's a four-way yarn in the color Hickory. You don't have to use that yarn. Of course not. Any four-weight yarn will work. So that's 620, the men's poncho. <clears throat> or women's. Unisex poncho. Okay. Number 621 is the Knit Stitch Bowl. Okay, and this I really like. I have it on my desk. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. The stitch appears to be, it's crocheted, but it's really easy. It's single crochet, but you just do it in a way that it makes it look like it's knitted. And it's made with a big jumbo yarn. This big jumbo yarn I got at Hobby Lobby, but you can get it at Michael's and Joann's and even Walmart sells it now too. Ain't that pretty? It's pretty big. I use it to put yarn scraps and stuff in so it's sitting on my desk so this is 621 the knit stitch bowl okay number 622 is my tree skirt the victorian christmas tree skirt okay and i have that right here now it is quite large i went over the measurements in the video though but it's a beauty, and my mom did claim this already. It's got buttons on it, to, so you can open it up and put it around your tree skirt, and then button it back up. It's got a bite. It's pretty much rib stitching. It's very sparkly, and lots of fringe on it. Very pretty. This is made with the Hershner's yarn. It's their worsted eight Christmas yarn. You don't have to use that yarn again. Any four weight yarn will work. I had lots of people ask me if this would work for a poncho also. My husband tried it on. He's such a good sport. And yes, it would work for a poncho also. But I did make it for a tree skirt. I think it turned out pretty cool. So this was a six number tutorial 622, the Victorian tree skirt. Okay. The next one is 623. It's the autumn stripes poncho. Okay. I got that one right here. Super pretty. I love the colors in this one. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? <clears throat> Very easy to do again. This is a great beginner project. This one is. It's pretty much, it's all double crochet, but it's done in the back loop just to give it that little bit of texture there. French is always optional. This is uh, made with Hershner's Pastry Puffs Plus, which is a lightweight three yarn. You don't have to use it. Any three weight yarn will work, and it would even work with a four weight yarn also. Ain't that pretty, though? This is 623, the Autumn Stripes Poncho. Okay. Number 624 is a textured unisex hat. Okay, and I have that one right here. This is made with... What was this made with? Some yarn I got from Mary Maxim. The al it's an alpaca blend yarn. It's got a super wide brim, which I really like. And it's worked from the top up. Don't laugh at my hair, but I'll go ahead and try it on. <laughs> I made this hat for me to wear. So... I like it. Brown's my favorite. I love tweed yarn like this. And I really like the super wide brim on it. So, so yes, this is the 
624. The it's it can be unisex, man or woman. It's just a textured beanie with the extra wide brim. Okay, so the last one I did for the month of August was tutorial 624, and it's the easy throw pillow. Okay, I have that right here. I love it. It is so soft. Mm, I love it a lot. It's made with a Bernat uh, Velvet, Bernat Crushed Velvet, which is a bulky five weight yarn. Maybe some of you see me pick that up on one of my shopping trips if you watch those. It's an 18 by 18 inch pillow insert, so that's about the size. Oh, it's so soft, so pretty. It's super easy. It's just big regular granny square two of them sewed together of course you don't have to use the velvet any bulky five will work you can even use any four way or three way you just need to make more rows to adjust the size to make it fit your pillow insert very easy to adjust the size to whatever yarn you're using but i love it i think it's gorgeous so that's my tutorials for the month of august um 10 of them not bad. I'll try to do more next month. So uh, I just wanted to do that little recap because for those that don't uh, don't get the messages or, you know, you, I put too many videos on and sometimes the tutorials get lost in them. But now, you, now you've seen them all and um, all the links, like I said, are in the description box. Look for a video like this, my tutorial recap, the last day of every month. Okay, and then I will always show you all the tutorials that I did in case you missed any and you want to watch them. Thanks everybody for watching and go check all them out if you haven't seen them yet. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to give them a like and this video a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. Well, when it notifies you anyway. Bye bye everybody.